Hello, this is Watch All About with another watch review and in this review we are looking at a watch that you will no doubt have seen many many times before, the Casio Juro, also known as the Marlin because of the fish found on the case back and on the dial, also known as the MDV-106 but from now on we'll refer to it as the Casio Juro. So the box itself is pretty boring really, this, this little cardboard box and then inside we have this interesting little what can only be described as a little display um, display case kind of a unit that you'd probably see on a in a window of a jewelry store. Uh, inside we have a little user guide, uh, but uh, I'm pretty certain that none of us will ever actually use this. So what I'll do is I will take the watch off and promptly get rid of this. So move that to the side. Here we have the watch in question. So this is, you know, this crops up num so many times when discussing best value divers, best affordable divers, you know, best watches under a hundred quid or a hundred dollars, for instance. Certainly is a very sturdy and reliable, no frills watch. And it really does pack a lot of punch for the price. So let's discuss it in closer detail and see, you know, if it is good value for money, as uh, so many people say. So first of all, it's good to note that the price is a little bit, you know, you can get it for a, a lot of different prices. Um, in the UK, it tends to be around 60 quid. However, in the US, I do see many people getting it for at least under $60 really easily. Sometimes it's on sale in Walmart for about 30 bucks, and I find that pretty outrageous because that's about 25 pounds. Uh, so that's very fortunate of uh, those uh, Americans. You guys are certainly being uh, treated with the Casio Joros for uh, for not much money. Um, so yeah, 65 quid, $60, pretty decent. Usually you can safely get one around that price from Amazon. So first things first, you know, you want to, I want to manage expectations. If you're expecting to be blown away by the watch for that much money, then you probably will be slightly disappointed because from first glance, yes, it is a decent watch. However, it's not, you know, it's not equivalent to a 500 pound watch or a thousand pound watch. Let's just put that straight out there. It is no doubt very good and nicely finished, but um, you know, there are parts of it which make you think, okay, yeah, oh, well, I'll accept that because it is a little bit cheaper. Um, you know, the good thing about it is that it's very, very reliable underwater, very trustworthy to actually go diving with. Many people do use it for proper diving. It's rated to 200 meters as well. So that certainly does work in its favor. So let's start off with the specs then. So we've discussed the price. Size wise, we've got 44 mil diameter. We have a height of 12 mil and a lug to lug length of 49 mil. So I've got just over a seven inch wrist, so about just shy of a seven and a quarter inch wrist. Um, if I just pop it on. And I think in reality, the, uh, the case itself fits fairly well on my wrist. Yes, it is a little bit on the large side. However, you know, it's, it's fairly compact, the lug to lug length in comparison to the diameter. 49 mil compare of the lug to lug length and 44 mil diameter. I think it works pretty well and it's pretty comfortable as well. The weight is only 92 grams on this uh, black resin strap. So it is very light to wear, uh, comfortable on, and uh, I appreciate that you know people will be able to wear it all day long without any issues at all. You know, it is highly regarded as a decent beta watch for people to wear all day at work. Uh, water resistance, I've already mentioned it's 200 meters or 20 atmospheres. So, you know, that's pretty decent for um, a watch costing this much. And it's it's reliable as well. That's the key point I'm trying to get across. You can spend this much money on a Parnis, for instance. Would you trust that watch underwater? Would you trust it diving? Absolutely not. I certainly wouldn't. Uh, whereas with this watch, you can trust it. Uh, and I think that's the main thing that it's got going for it. It's no frills, but it is trustworthy. Um, the movement is the Casio 2784 module, which is pretty standard quartz. Uh, you can see it ticking away. Um, the battery life will last three years, which is pretty good. So no worries there. If you do need to change it, it's a pretty simple case back. So you can bosh that out and uh, replace the battery easy, easily. Uh, one of the key things as well that people love about the Casio Dura is the fact that um, they're really accurate with putting the seconds hand on. It really does hit the lines nicely, very crisp, no wiggle at all. If I just get a little bit closer, 
So the seconds hand really does hit each um, second marker right on the net, you know, right on the perfect uh, alignment there. So uh, that's a really good point to uh, raise as well. 22 mil uh, lug width, so you can put loads of different straps on it. I personally really don't like this strap, so I've got a couple of nice examples here. So this is one of my watch all about straps and I think it looks great on one of these kind of grey straps. I've also got khaki green straps, bond straps as well. What a great, it looks flipping fantastic on a bond strap, I tell you what. Uh, so that's one of my NATO straps as well. So at 22 mil diameter, uh, 22 mil lug width, you know, you're pretty safe in finding a decent alternative. I personally wouldn't use this unless I was using it for proper diving, which I personally don't. So. I will definitely be replacing this strap without a shadow of a doubt. You get, you probably get around a one year warranty as well. Again, it depends where you get it from, uh, but more often than not, you'll get a one year warranty from like Amazon or anything like that. Some other specs are the fact that it's a um, mineral uh, crystal. You get a 120 click bezel. Uh, and as I mentioned before, the strap is black resin. Okay, so that's all the specs discussed. Let's have a think about it in closer detail, aspect by aspect. So starting off with the dial. So the dial is a, has a very nice, subtle um, sunburst kind of uh, reflection to it. You can see there we have a very slight um, sun ray, galvanized steel uh, shine to it, which catches the light, light nicely. As, as I say, it's very subtle, done in a very nice way. So it does catch the eye and it looks really good on. Um, you know, it's not done in an overly obtrusive manner. It's, it keeps the, uh, the readability of the watch, legibility of the watch, very, very good. Um, you also have these applied hour markers as well, which I really like to see. Well, I mean, we'll have a look at them in closer detail when I get the macro lens on. Um, so they're, they're reasonably deep. They're not the deepest that I've ever seen. I would like them to be a little bit deeper, but again, you know, it's one of these things where you just get what you pay for at the end of the day. Uh, and it goes to the same with the, uh, the double uh, hour marker at the top. So it's nice that they are applied. They have these um, reflective steel borders to them. The loom is fairly decent as well. Um, I'll show you a loom shot now, uh, but it does charge fairly well uh, just outside and it lasts a reasonable amount of time. Um, moving on to the hands then, so quite an unusual shape of the hands. We have a sort of, you know, a baton, the minute hand is, is fairly standard baton with a, with a point on the top and also on the bottom, it's pitched as well. Same goes for the uh, hour hand. So we've got a baton, but with a nice uh, shapely arrow on the end. So quite an unusual shape. You know, it's nice to see something a little bit different than what you usually see. And the second hand, it's good to see that red splash of color coming through as well with the tiny little arrow uh, near the end. Uh, the date wheel and date window, nothing too uh, extravagant or exciting there. It's, it's subtle. It's so nice and easy to read as well, uh, but uh, it has a simple white border around it and it's cut straight out of the, the dial as well. You know, in an ideal situation, ideal world, that would have like a little applied border around it, for instance. But again, it's one of those things that you're just going to take it as it is. Uh, you'll notice the print work. So we have the, the marlin fish there. So that signifies the grade of watch. It's sort of like a family across Casio. Um, uh, Casio models. So this signifies it's water resistant to 200 meters. You know, it's a fairly decent uh, rated dive watch. Uh, and Casio at the top, and then just a, a simple rehout around the outside with printed uh, hour uh, minute track around there as well. So nice and subtle, simple, but you know, very functional design of the dial. Moving on to the case then. So the case um, might as well start from the top. So I mentioned it's got a mineral crystal. Fairly clear, as you can see, you know, we're not getting a whole lot of reflections unless you look at it, go straight into a, um, uh, a window or a light, but all in all, you know, it does provide pretty decent um, clarification, um, nice clear view of the, the dial. Uh, you know, it's mineral, so it's, it's a shame that it's not quite sapphire, but again, at the price, you can't really complain too much. You know, it's the kind of watch that you'll just batter good and proper and then get another one eventually when it does eventually die. Moving on to the bezel then. So the bezel has a 120 click, um, 120 click bezel, very nice um, action, decent sound. If I can give you a bit of a noise taster on that bad boy. And uh, very accurate as well. Um, minimal amount of wiggle, a little bit there, 
but not a whole lot. And you know, it's firm, it's easy to, to use, but firm enough to know that you're not gonna accidentally knock it or anything like that. Um, the markings, it's a, it's, it looks to be an aluminium uh, insert. Um, and uh, you know, it's all painted, so nothing too extravagant, but solid and dependable. And then a loomed pip at 12 as well within that uh, cut off triangle. Uh, the grip, pretty standard, nothing too crazy. Um, you know, it could probably be a little bit better because with the firmness, it, it does take a little bit to move it around. But for many, that will be a good thing because, you know, it's unlikely to get messed around with if you are serious about diving and you actually use the bezel for what it's supposed to be used for. Moving on to the case then. So I thought it was quite unusual that they chose polished sides. Obviously, that will be the first thing that gets bashed up. Um, so we've got polished sides, we've got brush tops as well and uh, these sort of little angled shoulders, which is a nice touch as well. Nothing too uh, extravagant, probably one of the main things that could be improved, especially with the crown. It's a real shame that the crown is unsigned because it does make it look a little bit cheap and simple. Um, it's a screw in crown, screw in, screw out crown. Obviously that um, aids the 200 meter water resistance. Uh, thread is good, grip is all right as well. So these big fat crown guards do a, a good job of protecting it as well so you know really functional they've thought about it and uh it's just plain and simple really no no frills at all moving on to the case back again we have the marlin on the back and then some other details as well engraved in there as well so whilst it's reasonably simple in design it is nice and neatly um uh manufactured you know no complaints uh, there and then we have a brushed backdrop with this polished ring around the outside Moving on to the strap then, so it's uh, black resin, I have these uh, sort of stretchy bits as well, uh, so that will be handy for, for actual decent uh, genuine divers. It's, uh, it's comfortable, it's soft, it's supple, I really like the, uh, the shape around the, um, the holes as well, sort of like this slight inset, you know, it does look fairly nice and when under closer um, consideration. Uh, it's a shame that none of it is marked, so we don't have Casio anywhere on the strap at all, and we don't have anything on the tang buckle. The tang buckle is really boring, as you can see there. Nothing exciting about it at all, and it only has one keeper loop, and also it's very long. So I appreciate most people will wear this over a um, an actual scuba diving suit. So you know, I've got just over seven inch wrists, and it's it's quite quite a good amount of flap left over as you can see which does bug me a little bit when you when you've got the watch on and you can see sort of this flap at the top here that bugs me a little bit however as i mentioned beforehand i'm not really going to be wearing this uh strap for day-to-day -day life and it's pretty nice the way that it cuts into and around the lugs as well okay so apart from that you know decent quality strap uh, there's no doubt about it really solid really dependable you know it's not going to go anywhere um, but it's just uh, in terms of looks, if you're going to wear this as a day-to-day -day strap, then I would 100% replace it. Okay, so let's put on the macro lens and look at the watch in much closer detail. Okay, so here we go with our dial. Let's have a look at the print work. So you can see there Casio nicely printed and our Marlin there as well. And then we can sort of see the backdrop of the dial very subtly as well if I can get decent shot on on that over here we can see uh, the galvanized sun ray kind of effect to it moving on to the hour markers then so there we can see a couple of the hour markers our baton hour marker at the bottom so you know build quality is all right nothing too uh, extravagant as you would imagine got a double marker at the top there but they do the job and then our date window and wheel you can see we have our printed white uh, ring around it uh, border around it and also our date window itself white with black text so nice and easy to read and also it's nice to see like a little uh, beveled or chamfered edge around it as well moving on to the hands uh, as I mentioned before, nice interesting shapes. Uh, it's pitched as well, so they uh, catch the light independently either side uh, in a nice way. And moving on to our second hand, you can see again, really good build quality there. And our, sorry that was a minute hand, our second hand, you can see our red tip. Again, pretty nice uh, 
build construction. And finally, our rehout with our printed hour uh, minute marker, second marker, decent print work on that. Okay, so moving on to the case itself. So here's uh, the bezel insert. Print work is pretty, pretty good. No doubt this will take a beating in time because that's just what it is, aluminium insert, so no doubt scratch eventually. And here's our grip. So a little bit fine for my liking for um, ease, ease of use because it is that little bit uh, firmer, but uh, it is, it's usable. Moving on to the case then. So we have our brush top of the lugs, our polished corners, and polished sides as well. If we flip it over, you can see our crown and our crown guards. So decent grip on that. It's fairly easy to use, but it's a shame that it's an unsigned crown. Very boring. Finally, flipping it over to the case back. So this is the marlin on the case back, which is nice and accurately engraved, as you can see. Have some other interesting uh, in bits of information. Around the outside. And then like a polished ring and a brushed underside of the case as well. And then moving on to the strap. So here's the The holes again, nice shape, you know, nice close attention to detail there. I do like that. And we have these, uh, these like stretchy bobbly bits, as you can see. And then flipping it over, have a look at our very plain and boring tang buckle. There we go. Okay. Okay, so the Casio Joro MDV-106, uh, is it worth your money? In short, yeah, it is, man. It's 65 quid or $60, and for that you're getting probably one of the most trustworthy, uh, highly regarded diving watches uh, available at the moment, you know, used by literally thousands and thousands of people. It's probably, you know, the most used diving watch out there. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if, if that was the case. You know, when you can get it for even as cheap as $30, you really are getting a lot of uh, watch for your money. As I mentioned right at the beginning, you know, it's not without flaws. Um, it's not perfect. Um, so if you do buy it expecting like a watch to end all watches or, you know, a, like a grail watch, then you, you will be disappointed. Um, However, if you don't set that higher standard and appreciate it for what it is, you know, a trustworthy, reliable, solid and dependable, no frills tool watch or a diver watch, then simply put, you, you can't get anything better for the price without a shadow of a doubt. Design wise, you know, it is decent, it's a solid design. Um, nothing too extravagant. Again, it's, it just does exactly what it has to has to do definitely replace the strap if uh, if you're only going to use it casually or for work um, and it's not diving because the strap isn't isn't that great to be honest um, it's got mineral crystal obviously that's more susceptible to scratches um, the bezel no doubt will end up with scratches as well however that's all part of the charm and I think that many people quite like it when the uh, bezel insta insert starts getting a bit bashed up because you know shows a little bit of character um, you know the case is not necessarily underwhelming but it doesn't doesn't have a, a tremendous amount of detail to it um, yeah it's a reasonably nice shape but you know without a Without a signed crown, that's a bit of a disappointment, if I'm honest. The case back, again, nothing too uh, extravagant or nothing too uh, extraordinary. But we're not looking for extravagant or extraordinary, are we, at the end of the day? So, um, yeah, I really like it. And to be fair, you know, I've been using it a lot. And it's great for, you know, another alternative for a uh, decent beta watch. I personally wouldn't wear it casually because I have watches that I prefer to wear casually. Um, 
but it, I will use this as it's meant to be used, either swimming or when I'm doing work or, you know, when I'm at the gym or when I'm walking the dog, for instance, you know, those kind of things. I think it will be absolutely perfect for, and it is perfect for, because it's tried and tested. Okay, so uh, this was the Casio Juro. Thank you for um, listening to my uh, my thoughts on the watch. If you have any thoughts on the watch, then please don't forget to, to comment as well. So please comment, like, and also subscribe uh, as well. Um, I'd love to hear from you, especially with a watch, um, you know, as popular as this one. So thanks for watching, guys and girls. And uh, this was uh, this is what you're all about. So uh, take it easy, and I'll see you soon.